what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings we are here today season three episode four um we might do two episodes today but um depending on how this episode goes i'm not sure because i have a couple more reactions i need to do today before the day ends okay so and this is pretty it's pretty late right now i'm recording this so and plus the time change kind of messed me up too i think we gained an hour today or something like that I, I i'm not sure i think we gained an hour i think we went well if you go back an hour that means you gained an hour right so um so yeah so I definitely felt different and it always happens when the time changes like this you feel different when you wake up because you feel like you either got too little sleep or <laughs> or you got too much sleep you know what I'm saying so this is weird I just I forgot that the time was going to change today um, first Sunday in November usually so um, so yeah man let's jump out and see what this is all about Vikings man is is warming up I still um the dude that went after Bjorn, we still haven't seen him showing up yet. Um, you know, I wonder what Kalf is going to do. Him and you know him and um what's his name? Um King Horik's son. Um, you know, he's still demanding the head of, you know, the the Lothbrook line you know he wants ragnar's head he wants to kill him he wants revenge for his dad so he sent a guy after bjorn over on the other side we got judith and king horik kind of getting more better acquainted whatever um we have quintrit Qu queen quintrit quintrit whatever <laughs> you know with aethel wolf now, um, as I said, it's well deserved. He was cheated on, so might as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Might as well go out there and cheat too. You know, what I mean, at this point, the marriage is just for it's just for show, to be honest. Because I mean, his dad is sleeping with Judith. I don't even know if he knows. He probably does and don't care at this point and just going towards it because they've got this delusion going on that you know this is. Um, Athelstan's son. We have to protect him at all costs. He was born. He's a. He's a. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's not do that. Anyway, so in Paris, I really thought that this princess would warm up to um to Rolo, but that's not happening either. So let's jump into this episode and see what they have stirred up, man. Because the story is really getting good for the season. So let's go see. You know, Ragnar is always gonna be Ragnar, the troll of all trolls. I'm glad that he, that he, um, that he. I don't think he has forgiven Floki, but he let him go. And I think maybe because his daughter died, maybe that weighed on Ragnar a little bit more. It's like, you know, this is gonna cause Elga a lot more pain. And I think he's kind of feeling, I don't know, sorry for Helga in some ways. And. You know, it's like, oh, they just lost their daughter. Let me not put her through more of this. You know, and that's why he let Floki go. I don't know if he's going to banish him from Kattegat or whatever, but he's definitely, if he stays there, he's going to be keeping a very close eye on him. So let's jump into this next episode, man. Episode 4 of Season 3. And I will see you guys for the review. Okay, so this episode was, it was one of those, these two episodes, I, you know, um, I told you guys, it's going to go, I'm going to do, start doing one, but if the episode is really good, I have a really good cliffhanger, you know what I'm saying, like, I have to watch another episode, you know, I'll skip out on probably something I was going to react to after it, or if it's the last reaction of the day, whatever um that i'm doing and just keep going and watch another one because vikings will do that to you you know what i'm saying because it's such a good show so i definitely definitely love these two episodes man great um finally got to see bjorn versus the berserker he totally got him with the fit with oh my god that thing was nasty fish hooks and then he gutted him bro he gutted him 
Um, you know, Bjorn is on an, is on some another level right now. I think to me, um, right now I feel like he could take over from Ragnar and become, you know, the new king and let Ragnar rest. Cause you know, he said in, in, um, in that episode when he was talking to girls, like, I don't feel the desire to fight anymore. You know, there's no, he doesn't have that fire in him to conquer anymore. You know, he just wants to rest because, you know, he's getting up there in age, which is totally understandable. So I think at this point he could relinquish, um, his kingship and let his, let Bjorn take over because I think Bjorn is just on an, on that level now. You know what I'm saying? Him leaving to go to the wilderness, killing a bear, you know, all of that good stuff. So, um, I'm, I definitely think that it's, he, he's ready. You know, before I didn't think he was ready, but I think he's ready now, you know, and now that he's learned that Erlander is the one that tried to, that tried to kill him, of course, Kalf knew. I don't think, I think Lag <laughs> Lagatha is a freaking black widow, man. <laughs> She just, she's just like, yo, I don't play those games. I told you guys that the only person that Lagatha ever loved, no matter whoever you see her sleeping with, like, I never thought she loved Calf. You know, I, I think she was just doing it for gain, which it turned for gain, which turns out to be true. That's all she did it for. She just wanted to get him vulnerable enough to kill him. You know, so that, that's exactly what happened. But, um, I don't think she knows that they went after her son. So as soon as Bjorn goes over there and be like, listen, man, Erlander tried to kill me. Um, I don't know if he was in league with Calf or whatever, but he tried to kill me. So I'm glad that, um, what's her name? I can never remember her name. Um, but you know who I'm talking about. The girl that, the girl that he took. Um, their connection is, is, is nice. I like their, their connection on the show. Um, I, I really do. Um, you know, I'm going to make the mistake. Now that I know that they're sisters in real life, I was about to say, you know, I want, I wonder if Helga knows that her sister is back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I caught myself real quick and was, you know, and realized what I was saying. But the story continues to surprise me you know even the situation that's going on with with Ragnar and this girl the slave girl that turns out to be the freaking emperor of China's daughter you know that's an that's another thing too are they gonna you know go to China at some point I don't think they could could they make it to China from where they were because they're in Europe I mean, there is a possibility they could still go to China. I think I'm not, I'm not sure because they would have, I mean, they can sail there, of course. So, I mean, it would be a long ass trip. It would be a long trip unless I'm wrong and I know my geography that well, but you guys will tell me in the comment section, of course. But anyways, um, yeah, but I love that relationship that's developing. I think he's taking his time with this one, you know, I mean, Oslog is not a, is not in the picture anymore. He, she is, she's just queen, you know, basically just by name. A lot of, a lot of, uh, all the relationships in the show, I, I think right now at this point, the only relationships, I don't, I still don't know if that princess really is into Rolo or she's just going to manipulate him for her to get the crown or whatever the situation is or for him to get the crown. I don't know if women are allowed in in France because I mean they look down on women so much in this show especially in the Christianity side that I you know I'm even surprised that Quintred can be queen like that's a bit surprising to me too so I mean they can't they, they, you know in a sense that doesn't even make sense because the women can't they can't learn to paint and and, and do stuff like that but they can be queen it it, it just doesn't make sense to me you know what I'm saying so um, so there's that part that's a little bit confusing to me on how how things work because I mean why would you want a woman to rule you if you don't want him to learn to paint or read you know what I'm saying like 
it, it just kind of doesn't make any sense. Seems a little bit convoluted, but whatever, whatever works, you know, in, in the show, I see how they take that storyline and to how it goes, you know, so that's a little bit confusing. Um, I'm still keeping my eye on her um, because I don't know if she's really genuinely liking Rolo for what he did or she's just playing him still, you know what I'm saying? Or she just sees him now as a pawn that she can use to get rid of Count Odo and freaking and her dad. Who knows? No, what's going on in that, that woman's mind? You know what I'm saying? So is that too, but also Floki situation also that's going on, which it seems like the seer acknowledging, I don't know, maybe he's supposed to take over as the new seer. I don't know, man. Like, there's a lot of mysterious stuff going on, like, kind of behind the scenes of what we're watching that the others don't know about that is a little bit like, you know, there's no forward reveal or anything like that. It's not straightforward, so it's kind of like to keep you in the dark about certain things. I don't know why the seer was looking at him like that and be like, where have you been all this time? I was, I've was, i been waiting for you for years, you know, and he said something like a hundred, I think it was like hundreds or I don't remember how long he said he was waiting for, but it's a long ass time. But anyways, that must have gave Floki some sort of confidence to be doing what he's doing now, um, aligning himself with these, these new dudes, this new king that was introduced, um, and them going to Paris. I don't know, man. I feel like something is going to go down. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know. And there's. That's the only. As I said, man. The only relationship. The relationship he has with this girl. This Asian girl. It's just. It's just to the point where I'm like. Yo. It just. I want him to be so comfortable. Because he's been through so much. Done so much. You know, so I just want him to just chill at this point. When it comes on to Ragnar, I just want him to chill. And I think this is the best way for him just to be a dad and just have someone that probably genuinely cares about him, which I think she genuinely cares about him. Other than the fact that she's giving him drugs, you know, I like her, <laughs> you know. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and to keep watching this series, man. I know... We're not getting a ton of views, but for all you guys out there that are, you know, staying loyal and watching my reactions, man, I do appreciate it. So don't think I don't. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section, and I will catch up with you guys later. Peace out, man. Terabyte Reacts out.